Hi all, uh, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn about the tuning process in ADS. And to that end, first of all, um, let's do file save as, and let's save this as quarter wavelength transformer tuning. And press OK. Now, remember that how we found this value, we in fact implied the formula that this transmission line impedance is basically a uh, square root of these two product of these two and that is the theoretical formula but suppose we don't know the theoretical formula so how do we achieve uh, you know how do you find out the value of this so that it will give us the uh, you know matching um, between the load and the source impedance so to that end first of all let's you know change this to some other value say for example i i wanted to keep it to uh, 20 ohm and um, this was this is some random value for example and if i now simulate this one and let's simulate it from say for example 0 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz and see how the results look like so if you see here we have the original quarter wavelength transformer schematic and the data display window and now we have this new window we have where we have a new design or new schematic with the changed value the quarter wavelength transformer tuning and that's what you see here so let's go ahead and simulate this so click on simulate and grab a rectangular plot and type in S11, select S11 in DB and press OK. So this is what you see here that if you have the value that is different from what you should have actually, you will not have matching and at least at your center frequency you won't have the matching. So normally like at least 10 dB is required and perhaps you will want more uh, depending upon the situation. but uh, it's not even the 10 dB, uh, S11 is not even negative 10 dB, or return loss is not even 10 dB. So uh, how do we um, achieve that goal? So what you do is you um, you keep it like this, for example, this, this window, minimize this window and keep it here. Press click here. And then what you do is you click on this uh, tuning button. Do you see this tuning fork? So click on that tuning button and you can click on any any element for example here and choose the value any value that you wanted to tune so what i will do is i will click on z because that's what we wanted to play around with and keep it highlighted here and keep it like this so this says that the current value is 20 ohm and the maximum you can tune it up to is 30 you can change it anytime i wanted to go to 60 for example like because i don't know how far i will have to go there similarly you can change the minimum to something else but you know that you know you cannot fabricate all the characteristic impedance so let's keep it there and then you can also change the step size so let's for now let's keep it there like you know but in general you can change that too so let's click on this one and see what happens if I change this. Let's also first go here and perhaps change the uh, auto scale from 80 because we wanted to uh, mimic the result that we got earlier uh, by the applying the formula. So press OK. And this is what you see here. And now if I uh, I can either use this one, I can change this to, say, for example, five the step size and go to larger steps, or I can just change it to for example change back to one or I can just do this this sliding and you can see from here that as we the value is very close as you can see from here that at this point this the, I have a deep here so it means that we are going very very near to that perfect matching so um, this 36 is very close to what we got from the theoretical point of view 35.35 and in fact I can change this to you know point one resolution and I can just draw decrease it and you can see here that we are actually in fact approaching the the limit where it will look like you know they're very perfect so it seems that you know as i go further it is here and if i go further it is it is going up so i can change the limit further to 05 for example and now i can see 35 is perfect matching i mean no one should like you know chase that perfect matching but i'm just showing you that how this uh, tuning uh, process uh, can be, you know, um, used to achieve this kind of, you know, ni nice results. So once we have accepted this result, for example, I will say update schematic and what you will see here. At this moment, the current value was 20, 25, initial value was 25, and now we have tuned and we have accepted this result. So now this is 35.35, and I will say update the schematic. And you can also choose multiple parameter, in fact, to kind of you know, do the tuning. But here, just in this simple example, I chose just one one parameter. But you can, in general, you are 
you can choose the other parameters as well. So update the schematic and then updated it and press close. And do you want to exit? Yes. So this is what we have currently with this value and this result. In fact, we can go ahead and simulate this again to see if we are getting that result. So this is what you see here. Okay. So this is how you simply uh, uh, do the tuning process. And it is not mandatory that you select the tuning you know, from here. You can also define a var block and in general that will be useful in many cases. So for example, let's say that this is ZC, some impedance ZC, and we wanted it to be 20 ohm. And what we can do is we can just double click on this one and uh, go here and tune and say for example clear we don't want to tune that anymore press ok and we want it to be back to zc for example so this impedance is now zc which is 20 ohm so what you can do instead is like when you are going to tune this you can define all this you, you in general in your design you will have multiple variables and what you can do is you can just go ahead the usual way i mean click on that tuning fork and click on this equation bar equation and select the parameters that you wanted to tune click there and then again, play around with the value just like that. Just keep in mind that 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 thing here. And now I will. We know already know the uh, value, for example. And oh, maximum value is 35.35. So I will ha also have to change this to something higher. Um, so in general, this is what you will have to do. I mean, here in this case, we know actually the answer beforehand. But in general, it's a good idea to change this and you know uh, keep uh, you know varying it until you achieve the perfect results so for example suppose this is the result that we wanted um, and again as i explained earlier you can change all these parameters so suppose we wanted to you know accept this result so update the schematic and close yes so here you can see that the variable has changed to 35.5 and this is what the value will be and then again you can save it and run simulation it will be the same result by the way uh, but this is how you you know uh, do the tuning process in ads and remember that this is very useful because you will have in general a number of uh, you know the um, you will you will in general have a number of parameters because your schematic might be you know uh, uh, very very large as we'll see we'll do one practical you know example on quarter wavelength uh, sorry uh, quadrature coupler design uh, very soon on using microstrip technology uh, from from scratch and you'll see how how that tuning is very very useful and in the next tutorial we are going to learn about the optimization so please stay tuned